okay, okay. I got me a um, another off off name brand chainsaw. Um, it's a uh, it's a uh, Ojena, Ojena, O J E N A, Ojena. There's not a lot of uh, videos on YouTube about these yet. Um, it's uh, an, a clone of a 070 steel chainsaw. Um, this is the brand right here. Uh, this has got 36 inch bar. I'm super excited about this actually, believe it or not. I just got this uh, last night late, like it came like eight o'clock last night. And I'm just now able to um, get to the house and unbox it. So I'm gonna do just a quick unboxing of it. Um, this is a beast of a saw. I, I did look at it last night and it's big. I mean, I've, I've never owned a saw this big or probably even used one like this, but I got the Alaskan sawmill and we got some hardwoods and stuff around here. And I used the Rancher 455 with my mill and it just, uh, it was way, it ran way too hot for just a little piece of log that I was trying to cut. I mean, the uh, clutch was like, smoking so hot it was smoking hot and it was turning black and blue so um, I, I I knew right then it's like there's no sense of pushing these smaller saws to the limit um, so I saved a couple bucks and uh, which always takes time you know put a little back here put a little back there so you get what you need so but anyway so I did some investigating and I don't have two thousand dollars for a hundred cc saw and um, so I've read a lot of reviews and I only watched a couple videos on YouTube because that's all there was. And uh, I'm just gonna roll with it. Um, I, I'm sure it's gonna do for what I need to do. I'm not out every day professionally cutting and um, doing stuff. So uh, we're out here just on our property. This is a new adventure. And um, I don't know, out there cutting down some trees or trees that have fell mainly the trees have fell instead of chunking them up into wood I've been I want to slab them and start little projects or something maybe sell a couple online I don't know either way I used the 455 rancher with a uh, 20 inch bar and I had about a uh, 8 inch um, I think it was a walnut log walnut maybe it, and uh, anyway uh, about 10 foot long and by the time I got to the end of it uh, like I said, it was just too much. So we, uh, I, I wanted to upgrade, efficiently upgrade, and I looked at used saws, 880s, 660s, 661s, uh, the 3125s or whatever, Husqvarna's and stuff. But I just even used, you're looking at $1,000, 800 easy, you know, and it's like, I, I just really don't have it right now. Uh, total to my door, this was like, 400 bucks or something with a bar. I'm sure the chain will only last a certain amount of time. It's got the short sleeve, short sleeve. Um, nice owner's manual. Um, hey, it's better than the last, with the last one I got. It's uh, fairly detailed too. Easy to read pictures. Hey. Visible, visible, easy to read. It's better than the last little saw I bought, the $100 one. It had like a piece of paper with it. said, good luck, dude. No, not really, but. That's the chain. Probably the same brand as the one that come with my other cheap saw that I got. Um, here's the big reveal. Boss Hoss of a saw. Man, I don't even know what it weighs. Big, big stuff. They let you know that it's a chainsaw, which is good. Jug with it. 
I don't know what the fuel mix is. Uh, these, I think they're 25 to 1 is the best ratio from whatever I'm reading. I'm still new to all of this, so. Um, it's got separate oil, or it does oil the chain. I, I, I seen in another video, the um, guy was concerned, but he did come back and say that uh, it oils itself and has separate oiler. So I, I dig that. That's kind of one of the other reasons I, um, you know, out of there's different variations of this. It's metal though. It's not. It's not plastic. It's not plastic. Everything's metal. Even the handle. Every bit of it's metal. It's not plastic. So. I hear something rattling though. That's probably the chains. So, uh, here's the bar that they recommended with it, and I got the last bar that day. I mean, I, I was cutting it close. They had a few saws. There was like 17 saws and one bar. So, I, I bought the last one. I seen like the next day that they were, had them on back order or something. The bar looks pretty good. It's heavy. I mean, it's going to be heavy for the, uh, for the size obviously but it's stout hard nosed bar i think i paid this was like 75 bucks and after i thought about it uh because it didn't come with this this was separate it did come with the chain after i thought about it i got this home yesterday it's like well i should have just uh not ordered this and ordered a a whole nother another chain and just a oregon bar or something with you know uh sprocket on the end because i didn't realize it was a solid nose bar either i don't know if i paid attention when i ordered it it showed recommended and i chose that so but it probably won't hurt to have a hard nose bar and i'll just uh, save a couple bucks and get a uh ripping chain and uh you know sprocket bar obviously i'm going to get it broke in before I go putting it on uh, on sawmill, I'll read the instructions. I'll go through the instructions to see what the break in is on it. I don't know. I don't know what the break in time or anything is. So I'll go through and look at all. That is one heavy bar. The beast, man, there's some weight there. Probably 40 pounds, I don't even, I don't know, 40 pounds I bet. I should go put it in on the scale, see what it weighs. So that's my Oak Jenna uh, 105 CC. I will, uh, that must be a uh, fresh release on the head. I'll, I will some box video. I will get this thing running and take it out in the woods probably tomorrow and cut some wood make a couple more videos of cutting wood and take my other my ex bull out there and um we're gonna run them see what happens uh it's got to get broke in so i'm not going to put it on the the mill until it's broken so cool check me out thanks